Hello, my friends, and welcome back. In today's video, I have decided I am going to try the different viscosities in resin. And the resin that I'm using is Magic Resin. I've labeled each of my coaster molds with the low, thin resin medium resin and the high or thick resin. I'll be using the exact same colors throughout this experiment that I'm doing, except just the resin will be a different viscosity. Three different colors and clear. For my white, I am just using the pinata white right here. And I'll have all of these in the description below. And it's, um, I made it a skim milk uh, consistency color, I guess. Don't make it opaque. It needs to have some translucent. And I am just going to cover the bottom of my geo mold here. My next color is the Peacock Octopus Ink resin ink. I'm using a pigment powder and I am using blue eyes, this little piggy. This I put in six drops and this one here is quite transparent and you can't even see the color on the stick really. <laughs> so that tells you how much pigment powder I put in there and I mixed it uh, my resin for five minutes and then just mixed up all of these different colors and I'm now going to put on the white just so it covers the base of the mold and hopefully I've mixed up enough. <laughs> if not, I'm going to have to put more in. And for the white, I put in eight drops of the piñata alcohol ink. I have been wondering about the different viscosities of the resin. So this is why I'm doing it. And I thought, why not just bring you along and you can learn as well. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Make sure your table is level. My coaster molds all hold 100 grams. I mixed up 150 because the low viscosity resin for the magic resin is part A is two parts and B is one part. So that's why. So I put 100 grams of A and 45 grams of B because I weighed it. But if you don't have a scale, then just do the two to one, which is 100 to 50. Next, I'm taking my dark color and I am going to put it in the center of this mold as best I can. And then with my light color in the middle, put that. And then you take your clear and should have filled it up more. Oh, well, maybe I'll just put backings on them. Okay, so I have used up what I require for the low viscosity. Now I will mix up the medium viscosity and I'm gonna do the exact same measurements for that one as well. The medium and the thick or high viscosity our one-to-one -one ratio, but I will be measuring it out on a scale. And my colors are gonna be the same, and I'm gonna put the exact same amount in as well. So when I return, I will have the medium viscosity resin all mixed up with all my colors.
It's demold day and I really like what the thick resin has done on the back of this. Um, this is medium and the low. It took forever for the low to cure and I'm wearing gloves because it's still tacky in the center. Don't know why. And it's been how many days now? Four? All right, let's go with the low first. See how it is. It doesn't look like it did anything Looks like a big hot mess to me. That wasn't that bad though. Actually, I like the outer part. Looks a little dull too compared to this side. Huh. I might have to top coat it and see if that brings it up. Here's the medium. Oh yeah, it does look dull. Maybe it's just me. Could be that the white didn't sink enough. This side looks better. <laughs> looks dull compared. <laughs> and it looks, I don't know if that's bubbles. I like that. And I wonder if I put a top coat of UV resin, what it would look like. Like they all look good. This one though took forever to set up and cure. This you can see the white more than the medium. Very interesting. I like the design on this. Actually on all of it. I love this. This is great. If it would have went all the way in that would have been really cool. And the sparkles. I can see the sparkles. I'm going to have to uh, put a top coat on and I will be back. We'll see if there's a difference. I put a top coat on each of them and there's no big difference. I just feel that with the thin or low viscosity resin, it's the pattern seems to be a lot clearer than the medium or the high. Otherwise, I liked actually doing this experiment. It was a lot of fun. I just would prefer to see the vivid colors pop out so I don't know if that's because I didn't have enough in it to really drop down to the bottom. I want to thank everyone for joining me today and let me know if you've done this. Have you experimented with the different viscosity epoxy resins. If so, let me know how it went for you and what did you do in the comments below. I'll put all the material I've used in the description below. I greatly appreciate all of you for joining me today and welcome in to all my new subscribers as well as my returning subscribers. I hope you all have a wonderful creative day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.